Hi children, this is Chibukumar, 12th standard business mathematics and statistics. The continuation of exercise 1.2. Already I completed problem number 1, subdivision 1 and 2. Now, subdivision number 3. Solving the simultaneous equations, 3 unknowns, the non homogeneous equations of 3 unknowns by determinant method. Another name, Kramer's method. Right, first we can find out delta, delta that is equal to, right, x, y, z coefficients 2, 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 1, third row 1, minus 2, minus 3. At the top, plus, minus, plus, because I am going to expand the determinant by first row that is equal to 2 into the element which presents the column and row should be eliminated. These four numbers are left out. Multiply the leading diagonal 1 into minus 3 minus 3. Multiply the non-leading diagonal minus 2 into 1 minus 2 but you have tried plus 2. Then minus into 1 minus 1 into Leave this column and row, these four elements are left out. Multiply 1 and minus 3 first, write as it is. Then 1 into 1, 1 becomes minus 1. Finally, plus into minus 1, minus 1 into the element which presents the column and row should be eliminated. These four elements are left out. Then you have to multiply the leading diagonal elements, 1 into minus 2, minus 2 and 1 into 1, 1 becomes minus 1. That is equal to 2 into minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. Minus 1 into minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4. Minus 1 into minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. That is equal to 2 into minus 1 minus 2. Minus 1 into minus 4 plus 4. Minus 1 into minus 3 plus 3. That is equal to 4 plus 3, 7 minus 2, 5 not equal to 0. Already I told you. Solving the equations, particularly by determinant method or Kramer's method, the delta value is not equal to 0. So, what is the value here? 5. So, we can proceed. We have to find out del x first. Del x, that is also a 2 by 2 minor, 2 by 2 minor, sorry, 3 by 3 minor. First column of delta, first column of delta should be replaced by the constants 3, 1 and 4, 3, 1 and 4. Second column and third column of delta, right, as it is 1, 1, minus 2 and minus 1, 1, minus 3. At the top, you write plus, minus, plus. You know how to expand the determinant. So, right, I do 3 into, leave this column and row, minus 3 and minus 2 become plus 2, minus 3, plus 2. Minus 1 into leave this column and row, multiply these two, the minus 3, 4 ones are 4 becomes minus 4. Then minus 1 into multiply these two, minus 2, and 4 ones are 4 becomes minus 4. That is equal to 3 into minus 3 plus 2 minus 1. Minus 1 into minus 3 minus 4 minus 7. Minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 minus 6. That is equal to 3 into minus 1 minus 3. Minus 1 into minus 7 plus 7, minus 1 into minus 6 plus 6, that is equal to 7 plus 6, 13, 13 minus 3 is 10. Now, I am going to calculate del y, that is also 3 by 3 minor, right. Now, look at that equation here, particularly in delta, first column of delta, right, as it is. Second column of delta should be replaced by the constants 3, 1, 4, 3, 1, 4. Now, third column of delta as it is minus 1, 1, minus 3, right, plus, minus, plus. Now, we expand the determinant that is equal to 2 into, 2 into, leave this column and row, multiply 1 into minus 3, minus 3 and 4 ones are 4, 4 ones are 4 becomes minus 4, then minus 3 into 
leave this column leave this column and row minus 3 into 1 minus 3 1 becomes minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 finally plus into minus 1 is minus 1 into leave this column and row multiply these two 4 and 1 becomes minus 1 4 minus 1 that is equal to 2 into minus 3 minus 4 minus 7 minus 3 into minus 3 minus 1 minus 4 minus 1 into 4 minus 1 3 that is equal to 2 into minus 7 minus 14 minus 3 into minus 4 plus 12 minus 3 into 1 minus 3 that is equal to minus 14 plus 12 minus 2 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 is minus 5. Finally, you have to find out del z. Del z also a 3 by 3 minor. 3 by 3 minus look at that delta delta first column and second column of delta right as it is 2 1 1 1 1 minus 2 now third column of delta should be replaced by the constants 3 1 4 3 1 4 now at the top you have to put plus minus plus expand the determinant 2 into leave this column and row 4 minus 2 become plus 2 then minus 1 into leave this column and row multiply 4 and 1 becomes minus 1 then plus 3 into leave this column and row minus 2 and plus 1 becomes minus 1 that is equal to 2 into 4 plus 2 6 minus 1 into 4 minus 1 3 plus 3 into minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 that is equal to 2 6 or 12 minus 1 into 3 minus 3 3 into minus 3 minus 9 12 minus 3 that is equal to 9 9 minus 9 equals 0 since delta is not equal to 0 what's the value of delta that is 5 which is not equal to 0 now by Cramer's rule. We can find the values of x, y and z. x equals del x by delta, y equals del y by delta, z equals del z by delta. Del x value, what is the value of del x? 10. What is the value of delta? 5. So, 10 by 5 what is the value 10 by 5 equals 2 now y equals del y by delta what is the value of del y del y here it is what is the value of del y minus 5 by delta value 5 that is equal to minus 5 by 5 that is equal to 1 is that equal del z by delta what is the value of del z del z value is 0 delta value is 5 0 by anything is always 0 Finally, write the solution that is x comma y comma z. Write x value is 2, y value is minus 1 and z value is 0. That's all. Children, I hope that you have understood this method. We will be continuing the next problem in the next video.